folks, welcome back. Right there, it's on action. Hello, folks, welcome back to Outdoors with Mike. Another education video for you. In this video, you'll see how to pluck and skin and prepare your goose. We'll get started. I'm gonna pluck it now. So you take the feathers, there's the first elbow here. You wanna pluck that off. So you get all the feathers off of them. Everywhere like that. I'm sure anyone, if I can do it, you can do it. We'll get the feathers off of the goose. You want to pluck it to the first arm, really good here. So you, when you cinch it, it'll be, it'll, all the feathers will be good. Yeah, I'll get the goose plucked up, and then we'll, and this side too. These feathers are tough, so you, you take them off to the first, the first joint here. Yeah, and then here you pluck it. When you like this, you can put a big pot of hot water, like big boiling hot water, and a five gallon pail. You stick your goose in there with really hot water. After you take it out, the feathers will just come off real easy. Another education uh, for you. So yeah. We'll get it plucked up. I'll show you here. And always check your meat. Um, wild meat, you always check the meat. If it's if it doesn't look right, don't eat it. And if it's uh, it looks okay, you can eat it. And if the animal doesn't look too healthy when you're gonna harvest it, uh, don't harvest it. If it's not healthy looking, don't. Don't uh, harvest your your goose or duck. Yeah, always check your meat before before you harvest any any animal in the wild. Uh, we'll get it plucked up and we'll show you the next step. All right, folks. Uh, goose is plucked up, and I plucked it up good around here, so I could cut it here and then here. How to skin a goose and prepare your goose. I got the propane ready so I don't have to make a fire and uh, my propane uh, nozzle. Here's all the feathers. There's a lot of feathers. Yeah. Let's uh, get started. Okay, we're gonna have a... We'll put our propane to here and then we'll turn it on. We'll start it up. Too much. Okay, folks, there's our goose. We'll get our knife and we'll cut it here, right here. You can cut it here to the first joint. One, then over here, folks. Educational for your food if you don't know how to skin a goose and prepared for the pot to boil it with vegetables. 
potato invincibles. Get the neck off. Then right here, look. Right here is joint. You cut it there. 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 And we'll get some rubber gloves. Get some rubber gloves. We'll put this, the gutting in black and white. So the gut, the, when we take this out, we cut it right here. Yeah, we'll, it'll be in black and white, the gutting part. So we go right here. Always look at your meat. If it doesn't, it looks disgusting, like uh, maybe wormy or something. Here's his gizzard. There'll be rocks and stuff in there. You want to cut it in half. And take out the, there's gravel in there. He eats gravel so they, um, it could grind with the meat. So there's a gizzard. Um, the, the old people used to eat that too. Then you take out the guts, just like that. And throw, um, throw it for the animals, the coyotes. You could leave the heart in there. Always look inside. The red is, the meat is red, looks good. Okay, now we'll take the, okay, now we'll take our dirty uh, gloves we, and we'll get some more. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to prepare it for your pot. You wanna, you wanna take uh, uh, the legs off here. It just quarters up itself. See right there? That's one. You get a plastic bag, your gizzard separate, you wash it. Always wash your meat too. See the meat looks good. There's no, no odd looking. You always check your wall meat. We'll do the other side, right here, right here, here. We got how uh, we got a few minutes battery power left, and he work on his uh, arm here, down like this. There'll be a joint there. Yeah, and you wanna take it off like here. See, the breast part, there's a breast part there. Okay, continue on. Yeah. You could take it all, you can go like this, look. There's another method I just found just now. The whole meat itself on the breastbone. See, look at that, cool. You learn as you go. You check the texture. Yeah, we'll continue on this side. See the breastbone here? There's the ribs here. You go down along the ribs here in the middle. This, you can do a duck like this too. Here you chop it. There. You work your way to the other side. You can take the breast, breast off here too, all the meat. Be easier. See, there's your breast. breast. Lots of meat. Look at the texture. Just like moose meat. You look at your meat, no worms or nothing. Okay, now we cut, took that off. Now we can see the ribs. You want to take it down along the ribs, this way. Yeah, and there's a joint here. It's just the top part and the bottom part. 6% left. Okay, 6% left on the battery. We'll try to get it for you, educational. Alrighty, here's the heart. There's the heart. Cut it like a moose. Yeah, 
Let's put that as a gizzard. Okay, that one's some meat. You can boil it. You can put that aside and and here's the you clean out the the throat the throat stuff. Always wash your meat before you gonna boil it. You boil there. See that? You're left with that. Okay, that's it folks. That's how you skin goose. So we got the breast part and the bottom uh, the the top part and this is the breast and they got the front arms you could cut it that way or this way this one's with the breast the breast is here and with the leg and then we got the the hind quarters hind quarters and here's the other breast meat here's the breast meat but we left one on with the the leg Okay. All right. Thank you, folks. Thank you for watching. Hope this video is educational. How to skin a geese. And the same method, you do the same with a duck. You cut it, pluck it, and cinch it the same way. And you you boil, you put it in a pot, you wash it, you check the meat if it's good, and you put it in a pot and boil it with potatoes, rice, and like onions and vegetables. Even macaroni, you make a you make a soup with the the broth of the duck or the goose. Yeah, now it'll be duck soup then. Um, yeah, and you can use a fire. You can use a torch, um, um, a torch, a small little torch. All right, bye for now. Hope you enjoy this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye for now.